It's here again, let's go, let's do this. One of our most popular segments on this channel, it is the Ipsy versus Ipsy Plus Edition, which is the mid-size box uh, that I believe retails at $25. I think that's what they charge for it. That sounds right. Uh, if not, it's 20. I, 25 is what I'm going with though. As you guys know, I uh, I have an Ipsy subscription. I have the regular bag and I have the mid-size box. And then my mother also has an Ipsy subscription, both in the regular and the mid-size box. So what I do every month is I grab her bag and her box. I take my bag and, and my box and I compare the two. I open them both up. I don't know which what either one of us is getting besides the product that uh, we chose and half the time I forgot what I chose anyway. So um, this month I happen to remember because I was pretty excited about it, but uh, normally I forget. So I, I really have no idea going into it uh, what we get. And then I compare the two boxes. I pick out which one is my favorite as a whole. And then I create my ideal box out of the five uh, top products that both of us got. So that's enough talking for me. Let's jump into it. Let's see what this month's Ipsy holds. I I always start with my mom's box. I don't know why, it's just something that I like to do. So I show you guys what she got first and we'll do that. And while I'm opening hers, I will say, I've had some uh, some complaints and some uh, praises of, of Ipsy this year. Uh, the boxes have seemed to be getting better. I think the box last month was one of the better ones, uh, although I had a little shipping issue with it. Um, and the bags were really good and I feel like they're starting to go like a little bit downhill, but we'll see what uh, what this one holds. Like I said, I don't, I don't know what to expect with this one, so. This bag is Make Waves for June 2020, which makes sense because it's a summertime box. So I like it. I like, I'm, I'm feeling the vibe. Oh, I don't know. It looks like a bag of coffee. What is it? It is the Honey Jarrett Clean Cover Cushion. It is a semi-matte cushion with mild formula for sensitive skin. So I think it's like a cleaning bar. Like it's, I wanna open it, but it's my mom, so I can't. But it, fe it feels like a metal tin. It feels like a metal tin, and I'm guessing it's like a cleaning bar. Interesting. It's, a sh it's shaded. Okay, now I'm so confused. It says it's number two peach ivory, which that would be like a skin tone color, right? So like, what, Nikki, what is this? It's a foundation. Oh my God, okay. So now that I've realized what this is, I'm, I'm so into it. Oh my God, I love it. I wanna open it up so badly. I hope I got one too. That's so cool. So I was thinking it was a cleansing bar and I was like, that's kind of interesting because we've never gotten anything like this before. It's a foundation. It's like one of those like, oh, that is so neat. I'm hyped about this. I'm sorry, that took that. I just spent like 15 minutes unboxing that one product because I'm like, I, that is so unique. I love it, I love it, I'm, I'm into it. All right, moving along, let's let's move along and we'll come back and we'll price it out and do all that. Pure Lissy Blue Lotus 4-in-1 Cleansing Milk. I do complain about masks a lot because we get a lot of them, but I actually, I love getting cleansers uh, because I use them so regularly. And I personally love milk-based cleansers, whether it's soy milk or, or almond-based or, or goat milk, whatever it may be. Um, this one looks like it is soy milk based. And I personally like Pure Lissy a lot. Uh, I have a lot of sample sizes from different like old products and stuff I got. This one's a nice size too. I mean, that's a huge, that's a really good size cleansing lotion. Now, I'm not sure my mom's gonna like it. Um, she might, I mean, everybody washes their face, so I feel like she could get use out of it, but she's very particular about her skincare, so that's why she really does not prefer to get skincare. But uh, two good products in my opinion so far. Uh, next one I, I already know I'm gonna like. This is Dr. Brandt Pores No More Illuminizer Primer. I am a huge fan of Dr. Brandt's products, and honestly, most of them that I own have come from either BoxyCharm or Ipsy. Um, this is the Luminizer Primer from him. I have not used this particular product, but I really love his eye cream. I love his face wash, and I'm trying to think about what the other things that I have. The eye cream is what I use the most of, and I've gotten actually two full-size ones of those, in both one in Ipsy and one in BoxyCharm. I love primers and the pores no more. It sounds like it's a pore filling primer, which uh, would be something that would be right up my alley too. So I really like it. But once again, I'm not sure it's really something my mom's gonna love. So, so far this box for me is like a double thumbs up, but I'm not sure how she's really gonna feel about it. The next thing we got is a liquid eyeliner. It is once again, just a nice basic black, the felt tipped eyeliner. If you've seen any of our unboxings of the Ipsy's before, especially uh, some of my harsher ones when the boxes were in my opinion, less, uh, less quality. I do do not like getting things like eyeliners or mascaras because I feel they're incredibly generic and basic and we get them so frequently that it becomes redundant. In this particular box, because I really love three and knowing what the product that she picked as well, I love three, uh, actually four of the five products. This to me is fine this month because it's an addition. If you're getting four quality products and they throw one kind of like, hmm, 
throwaway product, if you will, in there, it doesn't bother me. So, so I, I would not prefer to get one of these, but this is this is a fine product in in terms of what else you're getting. So we're gonna go with the last product. This is what actually both of us chose. It is the Laura Geller Urban Garden Central Park Face, Eye, and Cheek Palette. I actually bought the Weekender Palette set from Laura Geller at the uh, at the end of the, the 2019 year when they were doing their post-Christmas sale. And I paid, I think like 12 or $14 for the whole set. It came with three of these little guys. And then I did an entire review of it. So when I saw that they had a new, oh my God, it's beautiful. When I saw that they had a new palette uh, that they were including as one of the options for the customization, I, um, I went with this one because I had just done that review of that entire set. And basically it comes with a highlighter, a blush, and then four eyeshadow colors. But this one, the one that I picked up did not have these gorgeous little designs on them too but there's like some really nice like textured like each one of the eyeshadows is a rose and then there's flowers in the um in the blush and in the highlighter really beautiful looking and i mean it's very neutral it's a very neutral palette but i think four eyeshadows and then two different uh face products is a great deal for a, a Product that you're paying you know $25 for oh and then of course we've got um, the little bag truthfully at first I was like it's not really my favorite bag but what I have to say that I love about it is like it's just super inclusive especially with everything that's going on with the world today I mean it's all different body types it's all different you know skin tones and I just I really do like the whole message behind it so yeah it's, it's not necessarily something that initially I was like that's such a cool bag but like now like upon further inspection I'm like that's a cool bag so so yeah all right all right, my mom's box, I like it. I like it a lot. I am a huge fan of it. Um, I'd be thrilled getting this. Truthfully, the only thing that I really don't care about is the eyeliner and the eyeliner, like I said, doesn't bother me this month. Oh, did they not? Oh man, they didn't give me the product list again. So I don't know what we got. Well, I don't know what the prices of everything are. Well, that's stupid. All right, so I guess we can't do pricing for this box, but that's okay. Um, I, I like this. So we'll, we'll, I don't know the exact retail value of it, but I'm, I'm guessing it's a pretty decent value. I'd say it's well worth whatever you paid to, to get the box. So let's jump into mine. All right, I opened my box and I am so excited duh, because I also got one of the foundations and I actually got a different shade. I got light vanilla. I probably would be better for the, the color that my mom got, but truthfully, I normally go with a little bit of a lighter foundation. I know that most people want to be tanner, but I, I'm so pale that I always worry that I'm going to look just way too dark and you're going to like see this huge division. And I'm also really good about like kind of mixing foundation. So I'll have like a slightly darker one and a slightly lighter one. So if, if worst case scenario, I can use this as like a highlighting foundation shade, but I'm so excited to try this out. In fact, because it's mine, I'm going to open it because I want to see what it looks like. Okay. So that's what it looks like. It is, I thought it was like a little metal tin. It is just like a normal foundation thing. And then you pop it open and you got a little sponge, which if I'm being, uh, oh, I wish you guys could feel through the camera because I don't, it almost feels like, it feels like a memory foam bed. Like, but like one of those like memory foam, maybe a memory foam pillow is a better description of it. Like one of the really, it's so interesting. I'm so, I'm so fascinated by this. Like I cannot wait to do like a full try on of this because I'm just fascinated by it. All right, I'm fully opening it. I'm committing to it. All right, let's go. Let's do this. Okay, so that's what it looks like. And then I'm gonna touch it. I'm gonna wipe some of it off because I don't wanna waste it. I don't wanna waste it. I don't know if I'm gonna like it on my skin or not, but da like, damn, am I like ready for it. It's definitely too light. This would be like a good winter shade for me. Like real, like like vamp vampiric winter. Like look how light my hand is now. I was like white before, but now I'm like see-through. I'm like translucent. Yeah, okay, so I'm so excited for it. Don't get me wrong, I'm not complaining about it at all because I mean, I, I filled out my survey. So if they're like, yeah, this is pale, we're gonna give her the pale shade, then that that's on me. I'm so, exci I'm so excited to try this one. I'm not gonna lie, I'm, I'm very excited. I got the same, we'll go ahead and get this out of the way because I chose this. I got the same Laura Geller palette. Oh, it's beautiful. I love it, I'm so excited about this. We're gonna start trying to do, last month we did an Ipsy, or I mean Ipsy, a Boxy Charm like full face and I really liked that and I'm gonna try and start doing that more regularly. So I'm, gonna, I'm def definitely gonna try and do that this weekend, hopefully. Maybe it's even tomorrow if I feel like it. All right, the next thing I got is Hey Honey, Take Away the Drama Youth Boosting Honey Copper Peel Off Mask. I really like Hey Honey. Y'all know how I feel about masks. 
But you know what? This is not a bad one. It's a decent size. It is two fluid ounces, but I feel like I'm gonna get a couple good masks out of it. It's an exfoliating mask. It says 10 to 15 minutes. It's supposed to fight signs of tired and stressed skin. Damn, did they know me. They were like, ooh, send this girl this. And I was like, oh, yeah, you're right, you're right. I did, I did need this. Even though I don't like masks, I did need this. Okay, so I'm actually, I'm, 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 I'm happy with that one too. I also got the Dr. Brandt primer and then I got the Pur Purelissy Watermelon Engine Apparently I can't talk right now. Energizing Aqua Balm. It is a moisturizer, it looks like, for oily combination and sensitive skin. All right, so this is what the Pure Lissy um, Aqua Balm looks like. Actually, I, you know, I've really been trying to be better about skincare. It's been very helpful with the whole COVID scare, honestly, because I go to work still every night. I work in the middle of the night and I come home and I immediately shower. And one of my biggest flaws as a human is that I would not shower normally. I would like go with like six days of dry shampoo and I would sleep in my makeup a lot of times and then go into work and then come home and still sleep in makeup. It was awful. I really treated my skin horribly, but because I'm showering every day and I have clean skin, I've been doing a lot more skincare, a lot more of the, the masks and the moisturizers and the things that you should be doing for your skin if you're a, a sane person who actually cares about not having having pores that look like they are, are a landfill. It's really encouraged me to, to work more on my skincare. So because of that, this is actually a great time for me to get what I would call a skincare heavy box. I got two really great makeup products, which I'm very excited about. And primers, I always classify as makeup, but it is kind of that cusp of like skincare and makeup. So it could be considered both if you really, really think about it. So I actually am kind of really excited about that. Of course, I got the same bag. Let's pick out the, the ultimate box. Um, this is a hard one because are, they're very similar. I mean, we both got the foundations, we both got the eyeshadow palettes, we both got the primers, which to me are the three main products that we're getting here. I think as a whole, I'm gonna choose my box. And I'm truthfully, it's gonna boil down to the fact that you got an eyeliner and I didn't. And you guys know how I feel about that. So that is gonna be the deciding factor. However, if I had to choose the ideal box, I would go with the Laura Geller palette the Honey Jarrett foundation, because I am so freaking excited to try that out. And on, it dried down on my skin and it, it feels so lightweight. It's like, I, it's, it's always hard to test on your hand because your hand skin is obviously very different than your face skin. So it may be a, a completely different experience, but I really like how it's dried down. It doesn't feel oily. It's very, it's not rubbing off. So I'm, I'm excited to test it out. The primer, because I do love primers. And then I probably would go with, I know this would never happen because they've I've never, well, I can't say I've never seen it happen, but I don't think I've seen it happen. Maybe I have, uh, but very rarely are we gonna get two of the same brand product, like different products from the same brand. Uh, but I would go with the Pure Lissy Aqua Balm and the Pure Lissy face wash because I would choose that face wash over my mask because I'm gonna use that face wash much more regularly. Great month actually for Ipsy Plus. Um, I was excited when I saw the customization options. There were several that I really debated between. I think they had a couple good highlighters. They had like a couple individual eyeshadows that I even considered that were like super pigmented glitter shades. But because I had just gone through this whole Laura Geller uh, weekender series where we did like a Friday, Saturday and Sunday look using the palettes and then we used um, all three of them together. I, I really just was like, you know, let's go with that one. That's, it seems like a sign. I love Laura Geller's stuff, but I, I had high hopes for it. And honestly, I, this, it succeeded. It really was very good. The last two months have been some of the best boxes that we've seen in all of 2020, in my opinion, which is a great sign because there was a really long time a really long time being like several months in a row, but that feels like an eternity when you're continuously disappointed. That I was feeling like they were just kind of phoning it in on everything. So I'm happy to say that it seems to have turned around at least two months in a row it has. And I am very satisfied with what we got this month. So if you guys enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. Definitely helps the channel out a lot. Um, if you haven't subscribed to the, the channel yet, then please join us. Uh, I just popped my knuckles so loud. I don't know if audio picked that up, but I'm incredibly sorry, I didn't mean to. If you haven't subscribed yet, please hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you see every time we post videos. Um, I would love for you to be part of the Dark Angel family. And I want you guys all to know that you are so loved here and um, everybody who is in the, the our little subscriber nest that I, I would die for you guys. I'm not even exaggerating. I love you so much. So um, other than that, I hope you guys have a wonderful day and stay girly with the dark twist.